hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel um today i'm coming back with another entrepreneur life video this is just a sit down well most of mine have been a sit down but um this is just something that i encountered recently why i was while i have been on this journey of being an entrepreneur so first of all i'm dressed like this because i'm actually in front of my college gym i'm about to go work out and it doesn't open until 11 30 and it's 11 15 now so i have 15 minutes until they open so i just wanted to try to do this video before i went in so first of all um this is about the mistake i have recently made while being an entrepreneur i did not think that i was going to make a mistake this big um this is really a shock to me but as you guys know this summer i wanted to get at least one of my businesses off the ground and build it up from there so i started my eyelash business when i was 18 i had the dream when i was 18 and i started it when earlier this year actually so i'm 19 now i'm actually about to be 20 my birthday's in two weeks but i started it and i had this whole dream about um, having only like three lash styles that I'll sell and from there I'll grow so I had about I want to say 11 lashes in stock and there was three styles on my website and I had Instagram so as I was going to summer school I was also posting on the eyelash Instagram and I was also in July I had to do both I was doing um, ADS clothing and my eyelashes as you guys know ADS clothing is a Poshmark boutique actually this happened in in the beginning of May and so I started posting on the eyelash Instagram in May and the end of, the ending of May I decided hey I should probably get a brand ambassador to promote my eyelashes I started posting on my instagram saying you know brand ambassadors needed and all of that stuff and within the first three weeks of me posting that i had two people contact me i think it was about two or three and the way that the brand ambassador pro program was going to go was that i send you lashes and you promote on either your youtube or your instagram but you had to have like a really good amount of followers no less than 10,000 the first person that contacted me she had about 28,000 but she wanted a paid program she was looking to get money with me being a small business owner I can't do paid promotions like that's not I'll be getting I'll be putting in more money than I'm, I'm you know receiving the next person that contacted me she had about 12 I think 12,000 and before I go on because she has a YouTube channel as well so before I go on this is not to bash her this is just my fault I feel like and I should have just you know waited until I had a lot of customers to do this but mind you at this point I don't have any customers so she has 12,000 and she was like yeah does she actually she agreed to my rules and everything so I was like okay by the ending of June I should get your lashes out because I wanted the promotion to be in June I started summer school and when I started summer school my my days were packed like I had so much to do with summer school that I only had two classes after she contacted me I decided to actually look at her Instagram because I noticed like that even though she didn't um even though she DM'd me she didn't follow the page so I went to her Instagram and I noticed that she is not in the US she is from Ireland this is a problem because international shipping is a lot especially when I'm I'm paying for the lashes I'm not getting customers so I don't have money coming into my business and on top of that international shipping is like $35 so a bunch of stuff went left in this whole situation 
Um, one, I didn't have the lashes on hand that I wanted to send her, so I had to wait for my supplier to send more lashes, and that's money. And then I had to package the the order, so I had to get the stuff to package the order because you you know you want it to look neat. So I had to pay for that, and then I had to pay for the international shipping. So before I decided to ship off the eyelashes, I hurried up and made sure that the international shipping was going to be $30, $35. Mind you, broke college student, trying to run a small business. So that was a problem. That, that $35 was a problem, especially going internationally. And it's going to take 7 to 10 days to get there. Basically, I told her that, you know... I was going to ship them from my supplier, but then I couldn't do that. So I was like, um, fine, I'll ship them off myself, but it's going to take longer. So I apologized and I told her I'll pay her. Again, broke college student trying to run a business. How am I going to pay her? By that time, like she was very understanding with the whole situation. She was like, okay, that's fine. Just whenever you're ready, I'll do the promotion. Fine, because I, she had mind you she had 12,000 followers on Instagram and she had like I want to say 5,000 5,000 or 1,000 on YouTube and I wanted her to promote on both her YouTube and her Instagram by the time I sent the eyelashes it was probably like the second or third no it was like the first or second day of July I know I sent them before 4th of July so that happened and then I had to, you know, contact her and tell her what was going on again. And by the time she got them, it was around July 15th, July. Yeah, it was around July 15th, some, somewhere around that time. So she made the post and it was on her Instagram only. She has 12,000 followers on Instagram. And she made sure to tag my business and I posted her on my story as well. The problem with this was that after she posted, I didn't get any sales at all. Like, so basically she just got free, free eyelashes because I got, I sent her two. So she got free eyelashes without having to pay for anything. I got nothing out of that. Basically, I, I paid more than I received. She, I paid 35 for the international shipping. I paid a little bit less than that for the two eyelashes. And then I paid for like the tissue paper and all of that stuff to wrap it up in. And on top of that, I sent her money for the promotion. Now this was all with my summer school money that I got from my refund, my financial aid. And even though that's like money given to me, that's still money that I could have used for something else because, again, broke college students. So, I just, that was a lesson learned so far for me because I should have just waited until like I had a big following or I had customers coming in so it wouldn't have been as bad as it is. I, basically that business is in the negatives. Like, I can't touch that business at all. And you guys know that Poshmark, my Poshmark business that I co-own with my sisters is doing way better than any of my other businesses. So what I did was I put the eyelashes that I had on hand, I put those on Poshmark. They haven't sold yet, but they have like about 15 likes on them and people are asking about them like are they magnetic, are they glue on, all of that stuff. I'm still getting more traction than I was if I was trying to do this through my Wix website. I'm not mad at that at all. But yeah, this was just a lesson learned from me and for me. And um, yeah, what I am going to start doing though is I'm going to start selling those eyelashes on Poshmark since I still have them on hand. And they are getting some traction. So I think I will try to just put that apart as the Poshmark business in either way so either way i'm still getting a little bit of profit out of them i don't sell them for much on poshmark i think they're selling for about four dollars which is only like a two dollar profit for me but yeah that was the biggest mistake i have made so far as a entrepreneur 
thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any suggestions on what i should do next just let me know and i might do it make sure to like and subscribe as well and i will see you in my next video bye guys